Yeah, we're gonna have, we're gonna do a really long hike today, and uh, this is where we are right now. We're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so the tour that we are go going to be walking up today is called Shark Tour. I think we're also gonna be passing a med medieval wood too along the way. So um, yeah, let's get started with the walk. Well, that's our intended target, that tour over in the distance. We've all had our eyes pinned to the ground, so we're kind of looking for that. And it's so bad. Oh. It's adder territory, but if we will let you know if we find an adder. I have a funny feeling that Ollie's going to find it today. It's a big ask for these boys, they're doing really well so far, so. Hello. Is there any problem with doing in the wood? It's, I know it's beautiful, but we've not had much fire there. It is Saturday, Easter weekend. Easter Sunday tomorrow. Easter Sunday tomorrow. Isn't it's Easter 19 Sunday? degrees. Yeah, I think you're right. And then he came out again on another day or something. And then the, the, was it the disciples that went and then saw the boulder move the other way and nothing inside. I, mean, I never read the story, so I don't know. But anyway, we're literally right at Path Court, which is the medieval oak wood. I think it's one of only three, possibly four, on the entire of Dartmoor. Um, so it's an absolutely treasured location. You are not allowed to make fires here. I don't believe we're allowed to camp here either. So obviously up where we are on this side of the river, we're okay. The other side, as you come around, you'll see the woods on the other side. It'll be more comfortable with the temperature now. That's it, man, just go for it. Okay, so we just gotta figure ourselves down to the river. I think we just gotta walk our ass down. That's right. You know, we don't make it easy. It's just going, it's going, look. There. Look, look. Look, an adder. There it goes. Can you see it? There's an adder just there. There it is, guys. Charlie wants to see if we can get it out. So don't grab it with your hands. Not long enough, I don't know. You want to hold that on there? I zoomed in a bit. Just see it moving there. Can you see it in there, can you? Yeah. Okay. I think I can hear it. Yeah, I can hear it. 
it's hissing. You can hear it hissing. Where's it gone? It's cross. You watch out, it's not racing out. It's like a horseshoe ring, Charlie says. It's, yeah. This is we're in the medieval wood at the moment. We've just dropped our bags down. We're just having a little explore, and it's amazing here. We just spotted this. It looks completely out of character. It's just all the way around. These bushes are growing out. It's flat in the middle. Still coming down from seeing the adder. I can't. We're, we're, one of the reasons we're uh, we've left the bags back here and we're hiking up is because we want to see if we get another opportunity to find an adder. Um, we've just seen a sign that says no fires, so obviously that uh, reinstates what I said. So you're not allowed fires here at all. Just to protect, uh, to protect the special trees and plants here, that's all, they're, uh, they're really old, so. I'm gonna tread carefully now we've seen one. It's lovely water, we're gonna be in this soon. This is the spot right here. It wasn't as deep as it was last time. Look at that spot, I jumped off this tree here. Yeah. That's right, you could jump from there, straight into this bit here. Yeah. These are the rules. Welcome to Powell's Court. So you can't camp here, you can't have any fires, no horses, no bikes. But we are camping. Yeah, we're camping on the other side, but the other mm -hmm. side isn't Powell's Court. So Powell's Court is this special wood here. It's Hi, an, ancient, an ancient woodland of English oak. It lies within the enclosed boundaries of higher piles, a medieval farm in the Erm Valley. It's the largest of only three high-level oak woodlands on Dartmoor. There we are, you see? What is that? At the top paragraph. You're gonna slide in there, are you? Yeah. We found our camp spot. Well, obviously, this is Powell's Court. So we're gonna camp on the other side of the river. So we won't have to interfere with the, uh, the precious forest at all. Really keeping an eye out at the minute now. We've uh, seen the adder. That thing was huge as well. Expecting to be a darn sight smaller. So that's our spot behind these trees over here. Wow, he's fast. Come on, jump you. Well, it's got windy now. Charlie's in. Oh, 
Sitting on adrenaline now, all well, well, strutting around the medieval wood in our pants. Okay, right, so we've been resting for about an hour after our swim. We've had some food. Uh, about 45 minutes for now. So we're gonna we're gonna have a walk up the river. We're gonna go see if we can find another adder. Um, and we're gonna go and see if we can find uh, I don't know, anything else. A little shore. I use it at the boat, so I'll say it's my shore. Charlie's at the shore. Flat spot in the water up there, looks like a good spot to swim. Where are you gonna go from here? I can walk on the back. But we found a place to cross, we've come up about four or five hundred meters right to the edge here. I'm going to cross back over onto the medieval wood side and then walk back down through the wood so that we can see that side. That's it, look at that look. And the big strand. We're back. I've set Ollie a challenge. Charlie's getting firewood, aren't you, Chop? Yeah. Ollie, you going to do the tent? Ollie's going to do the tent on his own. There we go, that's the site. It's a beautiful spot here, we're going to be cooking up a fire soon. Got a bit of music going, boys are playing. We've got enough firewood for the night, nice fire pit. We're cooking up some beans and sausages, some canned bolognese, uh, spaghetti bolognese, and also some sausages on this bad boy, and we've got some buns. Uh, I think we're getting a bit hungry now. The time is now, it's 10 to 5. How I see it. That's the, is that the Titanic? That, yeah, that's how I see it. That is fantastic. Bring it a bit closer so I can see. I did a better drawing. That's really good. So I think I remember stringering over the top. Rigging, I think it's called, yeah. That's a really brilliant shot. Right, let's go and do some parkour.
stranger, so we're gonna go over and see if we can speak to him, see if they can tell us anything that we don't know. It just I have not looked behind me, but just look at this view. Look where we are, it's just gorgeous here. Unreal. Right, we're just gonna quickly jump over the river and go and see if we can speak to this ranger. We're just heading back over now. That was really interesting. That uh that was one of the rangers. He was out in his um I called it an ATV, he called it an RTV, he said it's a rugged terrain vehicle. Um, but anyway, uh, he was just uh, putting up some fencing around some of the, uh, the young sapling trees to protect them from the cattle. Um, cattle so, and a bridge. Yeah, it looked like he had his mum with, with him. She's about 85. When's she chop? Yeah. We told him that we saw an adder and he was like, really, did you actually see an adder? And uh, so we explained what it looked like. He was like, oh, he's quite surprised. Um, yeah, they're back over there. So we're heading back over. I think it's uh, maybe about time to get some chow on. Strange bottle we just found on the side of the, uh, the river here. Look. It might not be a bottle. Well, it's got that's the bottom of it there. It's got some writing on it, and obviously it's worn, so it looks like it would stand up there. A very delicate looking thing. Might be a candle holder, a glass candle holder, but I mean, why is it out here in the middle of nowhere on the side of a river? Look, I mean, look where we are. He's got energy there, isn't he? Go on, little dudes. Go on in little dudes. This is where we swam, yeah. What's over here? You think so? I Okay, the boys are off exploring in the distance. They finished their painting. All right, so here's the fire. Separated into two stages. So this back section here is where all the hot stuff is. And this front section here is where we're going to do all the cooking. So we've just got a little few more sticks cooking down. Then we'll have our uh, white coals. We'll put the sausages on there. Bum, 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 bum. Chicken. God, that smells good. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what that is. Yeah, it's a nest. Wow. Wait, could it be from the ducks? Oh my gosh, well, I suppose, oh, crikey. I suppose it could be. Love heart. Yeah. Love, love heart. Somebody where I was taking all the rocks up, that see if I can make that current more strong. Okay, I might dig all the stuff out of it. It's like oh, 10 to 8 at night, and you're walking around the vest with your trousers up. But the sun should be going down, and we've got about half an hour, 40 minutes. Yeah. Baby owl. Like the There's another one Charlie did earlier on. Look at that. Amazing.
Charlie. Sheep got abducted by aliens. As they went up in the sky, they got caught in the trees. We didn't quite get to the top, we're probably going to do that tomorrow. No promises, it depends on our energy levels. But tomorrow's Easter Sunday, so we're going to be wanting to like do our egg hunts and eat eggs and have a roast dinner. So we'll see. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's see. Time, win the tent, munching sweets as always. Come in. What's that, that boy? I've just lot. been biting. I've got a flat bit on the end of my, my nose, look. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we might be up before the sun comes up. I'm going to see if I can film the time lapse of the sunrise. That'd be cool. Happy Easter, Charlie. The Easter bunny would have come today. Oh, one's up. The big one's still asleep. Charlie now waiting for bacon. Birds are singing. The sun is going to come over that hill very soon. The birds are out. Yeah, we heard some sort of woodpecker or something this morning. Okay, the other one's up. Eating Easter eggs on Easter Sunday in a tent. On the moor, sun's about to come up, just over there, I cannot wait for the sun. And it's bacon time. Got some Easter egg cookie art going on here. Okay, bacon's done. Just gonna chow down a bit of bacon, and then our next mission is to completely make this fireplace disappear so that no one would ever know it's there. We're part of the whole leave no trace. We want to make sure that the environment looks exactly the same as it did when we arrived, so that'll be our mission once we're up and running around. The sun is nearly coming over the hill. Guess what the time is? Seven o'clock! Charlie can't help himself with the sheep around. <laughs> Stop piping, you bear. Come on, son, we want you up. These guys are mental. Just have some bacon, now they're fighting. It's like WWE in the tent right now. Okay, here we go. It actually looks much more beautiful than what it did before, considering it was a fire pit. Now these two rocks were originally here, so we've left those, in fact that one there was as well. We've added some sticks. So now instead of looking like a fire pit, it looks like a lovely little, well it looks like everything else around here. Well done guys. Oh, 
talking about our dreams last night, playing in the river. Right, I've managed to persuade the boys to get back. I don't know what Charlie's doing in the water over there. Uh, but, <laughs> right, take some tent down. The only trace we did leave are these little painted stones. We lined up these uh, bones around our little fire pit. Yeah, it's rock and roll. These boys are slightly tired, but we're going to get some energy on. Let's do this. just goes on and on and on. I'm nearly there. The view is unreal. The tadpoles? Oh wow, look Charlie. With the tadpoles. I'm good at getting some more stuff. Yeah, I like tadpole. catching yourself in my Plenty. Plenty. Oh my god, Charlie. Now look, we're here. Charlie, look. We're at the top. We made it. Shark tour. We did it, Charlie. Finally. our hike. It's Easter Sunday, we want to get home and have a roast dinner and eat some eggs. So, uh, and, we, and we've got an Easter egg hunt today. Right, let's get ready to rock and roll. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Back up again. And 
crazy, right? Charlie, let's have a look at these boots. Gently, oh my gosh, he's out walking. These are his uh, first uh, proper hiking boots. That, uh, it's been taking the seconds to take in the view, but I mean, we were up there this morning. Easter morning hike up the top of that tour. That was a good morning. Yeah, it's and it's now quarter to 11, and we're, we're heading back. So we've been 24 hours on the moors. We always do a 24 hours. We kill it, don't we? 